The bison is called Baswamustus in our Cree language. And the importance of the bison to our people is that in the beginning of time, it was the, the bison, Baswamustus, had a talk with the Creator, asking the Creator that the bison wanted to be a part of our lives. And so the Creator agreed, and the bison wanted to be so much a part of our lives that it wanted to be with us all the time. And this was, this is going back to the time of creation. We were not even created yet, and the bison wanted to be a part of us. So it was, we know for one thing for sure that the bison is very compassionate because it wanted to be with us, to look after us. And so the importance of this animal, Pasquamos, just to our people, is that it is with us. And we know from our, our own history that it supplied, it gave itself so that we can have food. So we wanted to put on a camp where the elders would become the teachers and and the camp itself would be away from the school. It's a land-based camp and this would be a context where uh, all these teachings, the learnings would happen and all these uh, students would experience these uh, different uh, survival techniques or different teachings, different understandings, the knowledge about who we are as Cree people. And it's also an opportunity, like in a fall camp, for example, to create a, a community of people uh, fill, uh, filled with elders and, and parents and teachers and visitors, helpers, uh, ceremonies, all the good food, the cooks. Uh, it's important to create a context where uh, the youth will see a healthy community. The main thing is for for those the youth to uh, identify the animals for starters, identify the animals, uh, identify um, what parts of the animals, what they're utilized for, and the importance of um, using every part of that animal and nothing goes to waste. And for example, even just having that skill, just having that skill because you just don't go cut up an animal. Uh, there's certain animals, there's certain ways you cut up the meat and, you know, showing the kids how to even properly cut meat for drying. That's a, a different technique. Uh, cutting the meat for fry meat, you know, that's a different technique. And even skinning of the animal, um, just walking away with that skill of how to properly skin that animal. going to take the leg right off of that animal so let's watch do you think he's strong yeah yeah i don't oh, no, I'm <laughs> okay i need a different knife 
he's a hunter too. Yeah. I mean, he's a hunter, but he barely gets stuff sometimes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Listen to that person that uh, Crystal is her name. She's the one that's controlling the horses. If you want to go fast, tell her to go galloping. <laughs> There's students, so yeah. There's it's uh, shaped out properly. You put your handle in. I tape it. 
and then I hang it and let it dry for usually a good two days. And you leave the sand in there? You leave the sand in for the first full day. Oh, okay. And then I'll take the sand out once the outside's dry. The sand there. <laughs> once the sand is, is uh, once the outside of the rat is dry. Yeah. I empty the sand out. I let it dry another day, and then I add the voice. Which okay. means I learned your language, and uh, this is what these tools can be used for. Is it'll give life, it'll bring life in whatever you're giving out there. So whether it's a song, a prayer, or you're just speaking. Lashing the ends of the canoe. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> work your way down here. So we go through the portages and stuff. So they seen the First Nations people cruising through them, facing forward, and they uh, they adapted with it. They, they used the superior technology at the time in the first part canoe. That's why they made the Voyagers and how many people can fit in one year. Now let's cut this.
kinship. That means kinship, how to be in friends and family, how to love one another unconditionally. All of those, can you, can you grab? Yeah, I was born to parents, but they're not actually parents. They're just, uh, the parents are just help to, like, how to, to respect the child and the parent. Is that what it is? Yeah. important item is that it is the elders as according to our teachings who are the pillars of the community if we had a lot of elders spiritual elders knowledge keepers different elders you know and and if we listen to the elders then a lot of the good things would happen in the community because the elders are guiding the community development in good ways and that's why we and that's one way we depend on elders for them to guide us in the good ways of of being a good human being how to raise children and 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 etc well, from what i learned from my 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 trapping skills was uh, like i said a good good physical uh, exercise to uh, to do this trapping to do your trapping and to go out there and uh, be be motivated for and be happy. Enjoy the fresh air and enjoy the wilderness and and just keep on. Uh, like like I said today, uh, it keeps a person uh, active. When you see them applying those skills, eventually, when you see them applying those skills, or you you hear the youth or other people uh, teaching others what I taught them because there's some kids there that I will hear tell other kids, you know, verbatim from what I told them, showing them, uh, you know, um, that this is what Miss McCollum taught me. And then I, I listened to that kid, like even for navigation, you know, uh, the weather patterns, um, just all, all those different types of skills for land-based. And it's, it's very satisfying when you hear somebody uh, repeat your, your teaching or, having them practice what you taught them because that's passing on our you know what my grandparents what my great grandparents taught me so it's all passing on that knowledge as uh, sturgeon lake people in cree we're called paktahogany weenwuk meaning that we are a net setting people we come from a very rich culture that our people were beautiful land here in Sturgeon Lake that where they wanted to raise their children and grandchildren and where they wanted to make a living. So in, in, in terms of the landscape, uh, Sturgeon Lake has everything. itself so that we can have food we can have clothing we can have shelter we can have all those other things that that we use the buffalo for and so it continues to be with us to protect us there are so many ways that we can understand the bison <laughs> 